The mechanical engineer's eternal problem is waiting for parts. And with 3D printing, that whole cycle of design and wait goes from design and wait uh, six weeks to design and wait a day, which is basically everyone's dream. BattleBots to me is somewhere between a hobby and a career, right? It's not only what I cut my teeth in engineering on, but it's what I helped many, many new builders come into the sport doing. With the Markforge printers, it's the reliability that honestly gets you every time. If you can't trust your printer to leave it alone overnight, then you're not getting anything done any faster than you would with a conventional method. It's a super low effort, and I like low effort. Engineers, you know, we're finding more and more lazy ways to change the world. Somebody once asked me why we put so much effort into how the printer looked and how it was built. And my answer was, if we don't care about how our product looks, why would you believe that we're going to care about how your part looks? This is industrial. I mean, this is a different scale. It's insane, to be honest with you, when you can think you can actually print a metal piece. I'll take the carbon pieces. I'm a carbon guy, and a raising guy, carbon fiber the whole way. But it's incredible. This is not looks like, feels like. This is like, works like, keeps working like, and you forgot that you 3D printed it because it's still working. Most of the work that I do is in the orthopedics and trauma realm and trying to make a difference in, uh, you know, people's lives. What I'm holding in my hands here, this is a external fixator part. Each kit that basically you use for a patient costs about two, three thousand dollars. And this one is a 3D printed version of that. It costs five dollars that does the same thing and you can throw it away and don't feel guilty about it. Our customers who are using our printers, they have parts on their desk that they're showing how much time and cost they've saved. The Mark IV's products affords us the ability to take greater risks. Having the ability to print something that's not as expensive kind of rekindles your imagination. Originally, 3D printing at Dixon Vow was for research and development. And over time, as the technology advanced, we took it from rapid prototyping into functional prototypes. We can go in entirely different directions because we will be able to produce things that you can't produce other ways. At the end of the day, every engineer just wants to make a perfect design. 3D printing lets you get a little closer, or a lot closer.